Picture this. Recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. And I am continuing on with our theme week of independent games. And I'm looking at Woolly Jumper, published by Cytronic Software. And it's a new one for me. I've been meaning to have a look at it for a while. Um, but uh, we're going to crack into this and get on, because it, it looks cool. And here we go. So, right, I am in control of the sheep. And uh, I am shooting what I believe to be cotton wool balls out of my mouth. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, so you can see it's a side-scrolling sort of shoot 'em up platformer type affair. Uh, and on the Commodore 64. Now, the premise is quite simple. Get from one end of the level to the next. And that's about it, really. Uh, along the way, you can get power-ups and de-power-ups. Yes. Yes, I will get into that in a minute. So, let's look at the presentation first. It's absolutely fantastic. There is some really nice colour schemes here and the, the everything's just really nice. The animations are smooth. The uh, background scrolling is lovely. You've got a nice sort of, I, I guess that's like a river, but it's red. Why is it red? We're not in a slaughterhouse. Um, you can see there that I actually picked up a power-up there, which gave me a hat, which basically is your shield. Um, and you can get power-ups for your cotton wool as well. So... Excuse the expression, but it gives you bigger balls of cotton wool before anyone says anything. So, yeah, it's really nice, and it bumbles along at a good pace. It's not too bad, uh, but obviously uh, we're in the early stages, so, I mean, anything could happen, couldn't it? Like, like that, for example. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting one, I think. But it's so fun! Um, Control-wise, very, very easy. You've got your left, right, up is jump, and fire is to fire your cotton wool um, from your mouth. Because, whoops. Um, yeah, we'll ignore that happen, shall we? Uh, but yeah, it's lovely. Look at it. It's just fantastic. Um, the Like I said, controls are tight, so basically you, you've got a very responsive control settings here. Uh, works with joystick, joypad, whatever you want to use. If you haven't got a C64 to play this on, you can get the digital download. Um, so I would suggest that you go along and get that because it is worth every penny. You might be lucky and get it free. It depends, doesn't it? Would you like the link? I think you might, so I will put it in the description for you. So there you go. I'm good to you folks, really, aren't I? Anyway, oh, the slaughterhouse dash. Oh, this sounds lovely. Uh, you can see actually by... Oh. Maybe we're not supposed to touch those things up there. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have another game. Why not? Because it's because that, otherwise that's too short. <laughs> so we're going on a summer night on the prairie. Um, but just just let this sink in a minute. The soundtrack is really cool. Um, I like it a lot. It's very bouncy and friendly and cutesy and takes away the real menace of the game, which is kind of deceptive, really, because you know that everything around here is out to kill you. Why would they want to kill such an innocent-looking sheep? I don't know. So there. Yeah. So, as you can see, your score is in the bottom left-hand corner there. You've got your lives in the middle, and which level you're on on the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, Cowshed Blues, here we go. Uh, so, yes, it's very well designed as well. The levels are really nice, and there's nothing... Well, I think I think the level difficulty is probably going to ramp up at some point. Um, so, so we'll try and get as far as we can within the uh, time which I normally give you guys uh, with review time. So yeah, in the next sort of ten minutes, I suppose. But yeah, uh, you know, just simply get to the end of the level, click on that, um, just run into that little thing that you just saw me pick up, and that's that's what you need to do. Easier said than done, though this is only level 2. So we're going into Rocky Heights now, and we are going to see if we can get to the end of this one. Um, enemy patterns are exactly the same each time, so you can learn them and get to know when to jump in the river like that. Uh, when you get to know how to avoid them. So there's a little bit of mess, um, muscle, muscle memory here that you need to have uh, in order to survive. Because sometimes it's really, di oh. it's really difficult to... Um, 
judge it sometimes and jump over things because you might hit something or just miss time a jump or something and go careering to your death. Now I've got one sheep left so I'm pretty much guaranteed not to get very far um, on this but I will play again and I've just been hit by a chicken. Fantastic. Yes. You see everything's out to kill you even your fellow barnyard animals. I don't understand. So we're going, yes, we're <laughs> we're back here again. You'll get used to this. Um, so yeah, difficulty is is quite nice. It's, it does scr it does sort of ramp up a little bit each level. Um, it might be tricky for youngsters, but you know what? Give them a go. Because look, look, I'm I'm dying. Look at it. Look at it. But it's so much fun. Uh, the soundtrack's amazing. Uh, just have a listen to this. Yeah. And the, oh my god. Um see that's me concentrating on the music. Okay. So let's let's get my serious head on because I've only got one life left. In fact, if I die, that's probably going to be a good thing because I can at least start again. There we go. I'll just kill myself. What the hell? So let's start again and see how far we can get on this run. Um but you you giving you guys a bit of a, an insight into how to play it at least. But I really do recommend if you're a fan of the C64 uh, to go and give this one a go. Uh, I've got another couple of games from the same people to have a look at, so I will probably hopefully be bringing those to you uh, in the next sort of day or so. Oh man, sorry. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll continue our theme week until I've got seven reviews done, I think. I think this is number five, so we've got two more to go, folks. And uh, I mean, it's not really a theme week anymore, is it? Because tomorrow would be when I started it. There you go. You can see my balls are much bigger now. Excuse the expression. But there we are. Uh, yeah. Playability-wise, this game is fab. You're going to load this one up again and again. And you're going to have fun with it. And I think this applies to most people. Even if you're not a big fan of platformers, you're going to still enjoy it. It's just cute. Uh, don't let the cuteness fool you, though, because it is blooming difficult sometimes. But... We'll, we'll overlook all the deaths so far, shall we? Your balls do get bigger. Oh my god, there's just no way I can say that without it being an innuendo, is it? Now, that's a shield there. You can see now I've got a little hat on. So I can absorb punishment for a little bit, which is quite cool. Now, you can see the levels are fairly short as well, which is nice, because it means that you haven't got to traipse through too long a level. And uh, having to restart the level from the beginning is not such a odious task any longer, is it? So that's... You know, they've done well with that aspect of the game as well. Um, your replay value is second to none. And you know what I'm going to say, it's a one-player game. However, you can get your multiplayer on by challenging each other to see how far you can get. Um, see how many points you can score and do that sort of thing. So any game can be a multiplayer game. You know that. And it, it's good fun. I'm just, oh, that's the downgrader. Right, so you, you pick that up and your balls will shrink. I just can't carry on. Ugh. Anyway, we're on to level four now, I believe. And it's the Slaughterhouse Dash. So let's see how we get on with that. But overall, this game is well recommended. Uh, good fun and just a nice little break from the norm. You can hear now that the soundtrack has now changed. A bit sinister now. Yes. But then I suppose we're in a slaughterhouse. And it's not exactly going to be jolly, is it? But yeah. Those hooks, by the way, will kill you if you get in contact with them. So you've got to navigate your way around this level without jumping on those or getting hit by those. So I like the fact that each level has a different theme. That's quite cool as well. I'm not sure how many levels there are to this game, but we're going to just keep keep on going. Oh, right. So you can't touch those. Okay, so they're, 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 those are not background objects. Those are foreground objects. And you've got to sort of jump through them. Yeah. And you're going to have... Oh, look. So they put enemies in as well. Do you see what I mean about the difficulty? You're ramping up. That was close. Um, but it's... Oh, there you go. I'm not going to say it. You know what's just happened. But yeah, you can see now that there are a lot more hazards to deal with on the levels. And I thought for a sec I was going to have to jump over that. I think I've just picked up a downgrader again. Oh, poop. But you can see that there's a constant flow of river and it changes with each level as well. I quite like that feature. Now we're on winter time on the prairie, so this should be level one again, but... Oh, with snow. I like that. That's cool. And we get the same enemy groups, which is also cool. Uh, there's a spike there. I'm not going to run over that because I'm actually doing a lot better now, he says. As he falls in the river. Fantastic. You see, I, I jinx myself. <sighs> Never mind. 
Let's see how we get on. I've got one sheep left. Can I make it to the end of this level at least? Without falling to my doom or getting spiked at the butt by a spike. Because that's just not nice. Oh, we've got an upgrade on, the, on our weapons. That's cool. And uh, yeah. So basically, in a nutshell, this is Woolly Jumper. And I recommend it highly. Go and... Go and grab a copy for yourself, even if it's a physical copy for the C64 or get the a, um, get the D64 image and play it on an emulator. Whichever it is you fancy doing. Oh, look at balloons! Um, uh, right, so yeah, that's basically the review. So, uh, just remains for me really to thank everybody for tuning in to this video and for subscribing to my channel. And my balls are huge. Look at those. Uh, so... Yeah, thanks ever so much. You, you guys don't understand how important you are to me and have a channel because if you weren't here, the channel wouldn't be here because I wouldn't have anybody to produce anything for. This started out as a sort of a little project uh, about four years ago, something like that. And uh, it's nice to see new subscribers continually joining the channel. Great stuff. And if you do like my videos, please like, share and, you know, subscribe to my channel. If you're a first time viewer, pop along, have a look through my vids and see if there's anything there that you like. And if you like my style, you're in the right place. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I will bid you a fair good evening and I will see you again very soon for another edition of the Retro Revival Show with a brand new game for you to have a look at. Until then, my friends, you keep it retro and it's a bye from now. Bye from me for now. Bye from my. Bye from me. See? Tongue twisting now. Anyway, ta-da, folks. See you next time. Bye! Transmission.